Preparation is one of the keys to effective public speaking. I'm off to Manila tomorrow morning where I'm going to be presenting a 30 minute keynote on the 31st of July. So I thought I'd share with you some of the preparation that I've done, deconstruct the preparation I've done for this presentation in Manila. And there may be some tips that you can use, some ideas that you can use so that you can prepare well for your next presentation. I think that preparation is the foundation on which everything else is built. One of the first things I'll do when I'm presenting is a cultural audit. Who's going to be in the room? What to say, what not to say? Is there any language I need to avoid? So with Manila, first thing, I'm not going to mention the basketball. You may recall that Australia and the Philippines national men's basketball team recently ended in a big fight, a big punch up, went around the world embarrassing and don't mention the basketball. I'm going to be talking about the development of pharmaceutical drugs just to illustrate a point. I can't use the word drugs in Manila. Don't mention drugs. I'm going to talk about pharmaceutical chemicals and pharmaceutical medicines just to be safe and use appropriate terminology. There's others, but that's a brief example of my cultural audit. Secondly, I'm going to do lots of preparation. So I've got my script and I've practiced it. It's a 30 minute keynote. I've practiced it eight times already. So that's 400 minutes. That's not writing it. That's not coming up with the idea. That's just practicing it on my feet from start to finish. I'll probably do another four between now and the live presentation. I've got three days in Manila before the presentation. I want to be comfortable. I want to be able to shrink. I want to be able to reduce the content, expand the content if I need to. If the speaker before me goes over time and they want me to do mine in 20 minutes, I want to be able to do that. Should a speaker not turn up and they want me to go for 35, 40 minutes, I want to be able to do that. And the third thing is I'm going to go to the venue the Sunday night before the Monday morning that I speak. I want to make sure I know how to get to the room. I want to walk into the room, walk on the platform, get a feeling for the size of the room, how the chairs are laid out, are there any obstacles? And I'll also revisit the room 6 a.m. on the Monday morning and introduce myself to the audio visual guy. I have a video that I need to play that is sometimes problematic. So I'll make the audio visual guy my best friend. I'll get there early, we'll test it. I'll make sure he knows about the problems and everything should be fine. You've probably heard the saying, prior preparation prevents pathetically poor performance. So preparation is the foundation of every presentation. The next time you have a speaking gig, a workshop to run, do your preparation. It'll really hold you in good stead. Bye for now.